Hey guys, we just want to give you a fast heads up on another major economic event that is about to happen. But before we discuss this event, we want to first review our previous two predictions. In our video, which was published on February 23rd, 2020, we accurately predicted two major economic events that would occur in 2020. The first one was when the peak of the S&P 500 stock market would occur. And the actual date that this event happened was on February 19th, 2020, as shown here. This was the probability distribution table that was produced from two data sets representing over 52 years of historical data. And its derivation was explained in detail in our previous video, so we won't repeat that here. This center column represents the probability that the stock market has realized its peak as we moved into the next recession. So looking at this distribution, the most likely date of a stock market peak was centered on November of 2019. As you can see, the peak actually occurred on February 2020, which correlated to a 65.28% chance it would occur at or before that date. We were off from our center probability distribution by only three months in a 120-month economic expansion. This will also be shown here graphically as we calculated the standard deviation from the three-month and 10-year yield curve inversion data. And from that, we constructed this probability distribution curve with its zero-month position aligned with the first day of the yield curve inversion graph directly below it. We won't go into detail on how this was constructed since that was explained in our previous economic prediction video. So as you can see, the peak occurred well within the one sigma portion of the probability distribution and only three months from its center. This was a very successful prediction. Our second prediction was, when would the recession occur? And what happened was that the economic activity peaked in February of 2020. The National Bureau of Economic Research declared that this peak began a period of significant decline that ended the 128 month of economic expansion. When the NBER declares a peak, it essentially marks the beginning of a recession. Thus, February 2020 was the official start of the current recession. So looking again at our probability distribution table, we see on the right column the probability that the next recession started. And looking at this distribution, the most likely date of the start of the recession was centered on May of 2020. We knew something would be the final tipping point, you know, the trigger to start the recession, but never did we anticipate a pandemic. So anyway, as you can see, the recession actually formally started on February of 2020. We were off from our center probability distribution only three months. In other words, the recession came three months earlier than the center point of our probability distribution in a 120 months economic expansion. This will also be shown here graphically as we calculated the standard deviation from the yield curve inversion data. Notice that the recession occurred within the one sigma portion of the probability distribution curve and only three months from its center. So this is another very successful prediction. So what do we mean by the great trough? This is a graph of the S&P 500 stock market from November 1999 to June 2003. And this was during the March to November 2001 recession, which lasted nine months. And the peak of the stock market before its decline occurred here. And the trough of the stock market occurred here. That is what we mean by the trough. And this may look very familiar to you, as you can see that the initial fall from its peak was followed by a several month upward trend. 
This upper trend is just the cyclical nature of the stock market as it gyrates downwards. This is called a bull trap and sucks people into thinking the economy is in a V-shaped recovery. As you can see, it's anything but that. And this is what is happening right now in the stock market. The bull trap is followed by many months of declines and other bull traps. And ultimately, the S&P dropped approximately 49% from its peak to its trough. That is a great trough. So let's look at another example. This is a graph of the S&P 500 stock market from August 2007 to July 2009. This was the very next recession that occurred after the one that we just looked at. And the peak of the stock market before its decline occurred here, and the trough of the stock market occurred here. Again, see the similarities? We have an initial fall from its peak, followed by several months of a bull trap. Again, kind of looks like the beginning of a V-shape recovery. But instead, the S&P stock market ultimately dropped 56% from its peak to its trough. That is another example of a great trough. So we will now calculate and predict the date when we will arrive at the next great trough of the S&P 500 stock market. So this is 52 years of historical data related to the beginning of the inversion of the three month and 10 year treasury yield curve to the corresponding point in time when a trough occurs in the stock market. The average time is 19.29 months from the first day of the yield curve inversion to the stock market trough. So using this data, we can calculate the standard deviation. And from that, we can calculate and construct the following bell curve centered on its mean value of 19.29 months and with a standard deviation of 5.71 months. From this bell curve, we can derive a probability distribution scale, which is shown above the bell curve, to determine the most likely time frame that the stock market will make its trough. And it's most likely to happen in the one sigma portion of the bell curve, which is shaded in light blue. Aligning the zero month position of the bell curve with the first day of the yield curve inversion graph immediately below it, we can now assign a date that goes along with the probability distribution. The long red vertical arrow that you see sweeps from left to right across the probability distribution as time passes and denotes our current position on the probability distribution. And it indicates that right now, June 27, 2020, there is only a 12% chance that we have already seen the stock market trough in this current economic recession. And the chances quickly increase each month. For example, by November 2020, there is a 34.42% chance the stock market will have already seen its trough. And by April 2021, there'll be a 68.25% chance that we will have already seen the trough. So boiling this all down, here is the table of the probability distribution for this major economic event. The most likely time frame that the stock market will realize its trough, which means the lowest point, is January or February 2021. For it to make that date, the stock market should soon begin to fall sharply, and it may happen in a matter of a few days to a few weeks from now. From this table, we can make the following predictions. So as of today, June 27, 2020, a steep decline in the stock market is ahead of us and will most likely occur and form a trough within the next seven to eight months from today's date. There is an 88% chance that we will see a lower low than what we experienced earlier this year. In other words, there's a high probability that the trough is still ahead of us. We are currently in a bull trap 
and within the next few days to a couple of weeks, we will begin to witness our descent into a deep and great trough. And finally, based on past recessions, it is expected that the stock market will drop anywhere from 40% to 65% from its peak value on February 19th, 2020. Well, guys, that's all I have for you. I wanted to share this information while there's still time. We will continue discussing space and astronomy topics in future updates. So take care and I will see you soon.